Hello everybody, welcome back. Another little tricky diagram to draw this one. Uh, a short run, subnormal profit made in perfect competition. How the market structure kind of corrects that. Um, again, the theory is easy to get. If you haven't understood the theory, watch my previous video and then come back to this. This is all about constructing the diagram. Let's go. So we have the market on the left, so price and quantity on the axis here. And we have the firm on the right, so we're going to have price costs and revenue and quantity. Important that you can put all three at the top. So start there, label the axis, okay? As I said in my previous video, go slowly. Don't rush too far ahead. Do the basics, take your time. Let's get your market right, so you need demand supply and an equilibrium price and quantity. And always guys, label as you go through. Don't leave anything to the end. You will forget something, I'm sure. Firms of price takers, so take this price across, call that P1. That is the average revenue, marginal revenue demand curve for this firm. So take that across there and label it. AR1 equals MR1 equals D1. All right. That's good. Now we want to show a loss. So basically, average cost is going to be higher than average revenue. So what we want to draw is an average cost curve quite high up. Alright, so like in my previous video, AC went way below this one. Keep AC quite a way above. That's going to be very helpful. Okay, so something like this will do the job. Okay, very high up AC and labor as you go along. And again, marginal cost, start it below, but draw it at an angle. Don't draw it too steep. That's going to be useful just like it was in my previous video. Okay, so at an angle, like that, would do very, very nicely indeed. Alright. Next thing we want to do is to show the profit maximizing level of output for this individual firm. And that's why MC equals MR, and that happens there. That gives us a quantity Q2. Next, we want to work out what profits are being made. Well, we know we have to show a loss, right? So the way we've drawn it is so that we can show this loss. If we take quantity Q2 up, the black dot is the average cost. And the red dot down here is the average revenue, so costs are higher than revenue. If we take that across, that tells us the cost, oh sorry, C1, C2, C1. And P1 is basically the revenue, so costs are much higher than revenue. This box represents the loss, so we can label that subnormal profit. Okay, that's fine, that's half the story down. What we now need to do is to correct this, because we know in the long run this equilibrium does not hold. So again, we go backwards. We know that the long run position is going to be here, at the bottom of the AC curve. That's going to be the long run position, which will show normal profit, which will show allocative efficiency. All right? So we know that's going to be the price. So the price is going to be there. Let's call that P2. And the new average revenue, marginal revenue, etc. is going to be the same line. So we can call that AR2 equals MR2 equals the net. Okay, so we know you're going to get there. So we basically take the price, work out the price, which is just going to be the line across, which is also going to be the AR curve, MR curve, and the demand curve. All right, so that's an important thing. So you're working backwards. This is not the way it happens in the real world. It's always this that changes first and then that. But for the sake of diagram construction, do it like this. It's going to make it so much easier for you. The price, though, comes from the market. So this has got to come across here. All right. So what's happened? Well, firms leave the market. Don't they? Some firms that can't cover their variable costs in the short run will leave the market, which will shift the supply curve to the left and will cut demand here now right, to give us this new price of P2. So all you're looking to do is to draw a parallel shift of supply, something like that. Call it S2 and show that you shifted the curve like that. Right. Now we need to just add up our quantity. So in the market, there's going to be a lower quantity as there are less firms in the market. And for the individual firm, there is going to be higher quantity as some firms have left. And that quantity is going to be here at Q4. And the price has risen from P1 to P2. All right. And that point there, you'll see normal profit because AR is equal to AC at that profit maximizing level of, uh, of uh, quantity. And we've basically drawn the diagram perfectly. And it looks good, doesn't it? It looks really good and it's doing everything it should be doing. So that's how you construct this diagram. This requires practice, so follow the exact stages I went through and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.